Hello, beautiful people in the house. How we all doing? Happy weekend to you all. Happy weekend to you. I greet you all with your time wherever you are watching me from. I believe you all are fine. Welcome back again to Gift of Best Kitchen. You are always welcome to my kitchen. In my kitchen, you can learn how to make all type of food if you wish to know. Thanks to you all, to all, all my subscribers, to my new subscribers. I say thank you. May the good Lord God bless you. And for you all that is always supporting my channel. Oh, what will what will I have done without you, okay, guys? If not you guys, there will be no gift of best kitchen. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your like. Thank you for your view. I appreciate you all. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing us my method of cooking. My method of cooking. onion stew i'm going to be cooking onion stew guys so today i'll be showing us how to make onion stew here is my onion i'm going to be using two type two different type of onion you can see it's yellow and the red the white onions and the red onions i'm going to be using this chicken here, I've already fried and parboiled it, and this is my shark here. Here is my fish. I'll be making it with one fish. Here are my bay pepper. Here is the water from my mint. This is not water from my mint. And here is my red oil. I don't cook my stew without adding red oil because that's how my mom used to cook our stew and i have to learn from my mom when you eat stew with red oil and granite oil whole oh, you will not eat only granite oil stew again so let's get started first of all i'm going to be blending my onions and blending my pepper you know i don't normally blend onions but today i'm going to be blending my onions because i'm going to be cooking onion stew i'm going to be using just this bottle of tomatoes this so let's go so guys here is it after the blending i believe we can see it here is it after the blending so now i'm going to be frying my tomatoes first before i will add in my onions here is my pot place it on top of my fire and allow it to hot before i will add in my red oil so guys, my pot is dried. Now I'm going to be adding in my oil. My red oil. Try this method when making your stew. Either tomato stew, onion stew. Just try this method and you will see the difference. Just, just a little oil. And you will see the taste of that stew. So guys, you just have to leave it to bleach a little. Not too much bleach. This oil. What I'm adding is the oil I use in frying my meat. I don't want it to be waste. So I just have to add it first before I can add fresh oil to it. So guys, after a minute, or it's not up to a minute, after the hotness, I'm going to be adding in my tomatoes first. So guys, before I do filter my tomatoes overnight, but this I'm not going to be filtering it so i'm not going to put it in the filter as you can see i did put it because it's just an onion stew and i'm going to be covering it before i will add in my onion so guys after about five to six minutes i'm going to be adding in my onion not added anything yet i'm leaving it to go down so guys before i will add in my maggi and my salt i'm going to be adding in my seasoning water seasoning water from my meats so i will know the 
taste of it before I will add in anything. So I will leave it for it to cook. So guys, here is our onion stew. Now I'm going to be testing it and see how it tastes. Before I can add in my mangi, my salt, Remember, I put in my water from my boiled mint, so I'm going to be using this two cube of mango. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Now put in my meat, everything inside. can see my onions was more than my tomatoes this is how i need it i don't want it to look black like that onion stew but in me i know that i prepare onion stew okay covered it so we leave it for some while wow Every year is buffeting with good smell. Wow. Mm. This is my onion stew, man. Go sweet too. Mm. Mm -mm. So I'm going to be adding in my fish. Because it's not going to be staying too long again. So let me add in my fish. This is the last thing I normally add when cooking. See the way it's jumping. I mean, if I'm seeing what I'm cooking on top of my gas, I don't like it. So that's why I always clean my gas before I finish cooking. I always clean my gas. So always make sure your environment is always clean when cooking. Cloth not the finish for where I for the cook because if I see the food when I they cook, I not go eat that food at that moment. I will give the food some minute or some hour before I can eat the food. I always clean my environment that I'm using in cooking. So as you can see now, before the food go done. So everywhere go fine. And then when it's done, I go see power, the strength to eat time because now me cook them. You understand? So that is it, guys. This is the first thing that you need to be doing when cooking. Okay, guys. So guys, let's check our stew. Wow. Hmm. See how beautiful it all looks. Hey. I know everybody will be warm to eat this food now. How? Oh. Mmm, so beautiful. Wow, so neat. As you can see, it's ready. Ready, ready, ready. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you very much. If you know this video was helpful, please do not forget to drop me some love. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you can see, wow, see the oil. When you are seeing this kind of oil on top of your stew or on top of your food, when you are making soup or stew, know that it's ready. See, as you can see, look at it. 
this is my onion steel guys thank you for watching i really appreciate thank you very much this is how i make my stew my onion stew mm, so delicious thank you guys for watching see you next time on my next video please don't forget to drop your comment at the comment section below gift of best kitchen you are always welcome to my channel you are always welcome to my kitchen